There is Marco Arup, the newly crowned world champion from Canada. He says he's feeling good and he's got his eye on the national record held by Brandon McBride, 143.20. We'll keep an eye on that. Kinyamal, Wycliffe Kinyamal, the Commonwealth Games champion, the world lead, fastest man in the world this year. Wasn't in Budapest in the individual 800, but did take part in the relays. Daniel Rowden, semi-finalist, alongside Gabriel Tual, and then Isaiah Harris on the inside from the USA. It's a big old field here for this 800 metres. 13 athletes, including the pacemaker Eric Sawinski. But it'll be interesting to see how Marco Arup goes here. We'll talk in a little moment about his different tactics in that final in Budapest. But a stack field. A long plane ride from the Hungarian capital to get here. But the organisers and route of the meeting director has put together a brilliant field. Men's 800. Well, Sawinski, the brilliant pacemaker, has been asked to go through 400 in 49.50. And I mentioned the tactics, Tim, of Marco Arup in the final. He normally likes the front run. He's a, a very bustling, big, aggressive runner, isn't he? But there he is, centre of picture. In the final of Budapest, he hung around at the back and came from last to first in the final 200 metres. What's he going to do here? A normal service resumed. There he is, tucking in behind the pacemaker. Well, the clock didn't stop at uh, 200, but it looks sensible to me, around 24 and a half, something like that. Sawinski, very experienced, former World Indoor Championship bronze medalist. That was important back in 2016, but he's the, he's the pacemaker of choice of 800. And I'll tell you what, he's gone out hard, hasn't he? Marco Arop, the uh, champion bronze medalist in Eugene last year. And uh, it looks like really sensible pace through 400, but it's quick, actually, sensibly quick. 49.68 for the pacemaker. They've probably gone through in about 50 flat, Chris. Just about perfect. And Rob's got somebody to chase now. Yes, he has, because uh, Wanyoni is taking it on aggressively. Wanyoni leading the way with Kinyamal, the Commonwealth Games champion, in second place. And then the taller figure of Arop. Now, is he starting to make his move now? Kinyamal just tying up a little bit as Arop just glides past him. One down. Can he pick off Wanyoni? Wanyoni, the fastest man in the world earlier this year. Now the world number two. Kinyamal is the fastest. And Arot now with less than 200 to go. Gritting his teeth. The taller man gliding through effortlessly. It'll be between these two. The Canadian and the Kenyan. Arot is Wanyoni starting to tie up on the inside. Arot is going to take on the line. It's all the way to the line. And Wanyoni gets it on the inside. 143.20. Coincidentally, it's that Canadian national record. It hasn't gone to Marco Arop, it has gone to Wanyonyi, and it is the fastest time in the world this year. He was the world lead, he then lost it to Kinyamal, he's now got it back again. What a tussle in the final 50 metres there, and in the end, it was the silver medalist from Budapest who got the better of the gold medalist. They reversed their positions, and Wanyonyi gets it here in Siamen. Brilliant, brilliant racing at the front end there. The others were all left in their wake and couldn't get back. All the big kickers further back, Pattinson, the World Championship bronze medalist, never got a sniff at the front end because the pace was maintained through the last 200 metres after that quick time at the bell. But these two, I love racing like this, really love pure racing, knocking chunks out of each other over the last 15 metres. Wanyoni, two or three inches back here. I thought Arup was holding his form really well here, was going to take this, but he stops driving with the arms about six strides out, punches the air there to try and get that extra inch or two out of his chest, but there was to no avail. Uh, Wanyoni came through to take it. 143.20, as you said, Chris, the fastest time in the world this year. And actually, in a contest that great, man against man, two real heavyweights. Oh, that's wrong. No, Wanyoni won it. 143.20 with that world lead. Rock might have said a personal best, but he finished in second place. Not sure why that was the wrong way around. But you know what? That is just great racing. It's it's so so.